Hi, I'm Chav Hutchings, and this is my tutorial on how to use the sampler in Cakewalk Next, part one. Click on the plus icon. Then click on sampler. Click on the file icon. Then double click on your audio sample. Here I have a stereo wave audio sample of my guitar. The sampler has detected my audio sample as C3. And on the keys section, you can see my sample is the blue note. The sampler can also play my sample pitch changed for the keynotes up to one octave lower and one octave higher. Click on the keys in the key section to hear the pitch changed notes. Drag the left trim line to set where the sampler starts playing the sample. Drag the right trim line to set where the sampler stops playing the sample. Click on the one shot icon. Now the sample will play all the way through, no matter how long you press a keynote. Click on the loop icon. Now the sample will continue to play in a loop for as long as you press a keynote. Drag the left loop marker to set where the sampler starts playing the loop. Drag the right loop marker to set where the sampler stops playing the loop. Click on the gate icon. Now the sample will only play for as long as you press a keynote. Now click on the controls icon. In this part one tutorial, I will explain the amp envelope section. Attack adds a fade in to the sample. Press on the attack knob and drag up to add a fade in. The pop up message shows how long the fade in will be.
to explain the other three knobs, I will first turn all the knobs down. Decay fades out the sample. Press on the Decay knob and drag up to set how long the fade out is. The pop-up message shows how long the fade out will be. Sustain sets the volume level that the decay will fade out to. So if you press on the sustain knob and drag it all the way up, so the pop-up message says 0 dB, the decay fade out will effectively be turned off. Now, if you press on the sustain knob and drag down, so the pop-up message says minus 20 dB. The decay will only fade the sample volume down to minus 20 dB. Release adds a fade out to the sample when you stop pressing a keynote. Press on the release knob and drag up to add a fade out. The pop-up message shows how long the fade-out will be. Now, when you stop pressing a keynote, release will fade out the sustain volume down to zero. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.